Luke 2, verse 7. And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling cloths and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. Now there were in the same country shepherds living out in their fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. And behold, an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were greatly afraid. Then the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which will be to all people. For there is born to you this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. And this will be a sign to you. You will find a babe wrapped in swaddling cloths, lying in a manger. The babe in the manger gave his life as a ransom for many. He humbled himself to join in our sorrow. Jesus didn't come to our world for his own enjoyment. He was love, lying in a manger. By this we know love, because he laid down his life for us. And we also ought to lay down our lives for the brethren. But whoever has this world's goods and sees his brother in need and shuts up his heart from him, how does the love of God abide in him? My little children, let us not love in word or in tongue, but in deed and in truth. Let nothing be done through selfish ambition or conceit, but in lowliness of mind, let each esteem others better than himself. Let each of you look not only for his own interests, but also for the interests of others. The love of God is not selfish. It does not claim its rights. Jesus had every right to remain in heaven and to leave us to the consequences of our own sin. But his great love compelled him. The love of God is self-sacrificing, unconditional love. As his church, we often fail so short of that standard. The next generation and the unsaved see our failures. Do we? Oh Lord Jesus, search our hearts. May your church turn away from our passion for preserving our own privilege. May we magnify Jesus as our first priority. And secondly, serve others sacrificially and humbly in your name. Change us, O oh God, that we may live like Jesus.